Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on using PowerPoint. I'm not a big user of PowerPoint myself, but here is some work that um, a lower four student did last year, uh, which is quite nice and will serve our purposes. So, first of all, I am going to um, just put it into press F5, which gets it into um, uh, what presentation mode. And then um, different things we've been asked, but one of the things is um, to how to write on the screen. And what you do is you simply right click and then you have a pen. So I'm working on a computer with a mouse at the moment, so this isn't going to be very tidy, but I'm doing the best. So you can like draw attention to things that you're talking about, particularly um, in um, whilst you're in class. If I press the space bar, that still works, and you can see that I can point out um, particular things. Um, so, um, this is a lovely piece of work we did in English, um, where they've mapped on Google Maps. Look at all these pointers here. They Google mapped everything that. Um, uh, that's in the text and page referenced it like so brilliant so you can hear we're using this is using the highlighter as you can see um, simply again pointer highlighter and um, you can have a look at the gecko's journey and um, which is this line here um, uh, and that sort of thing if you don't like something that you've done you can go and rub it out zoom, zoom, zoom. just click on it and it goes away and then what else have we got um, you can have automatic visible or hidden arrow options and you can change your ink color so we can go and have a red highlighter oh no that's my ink color so that's my pen go back to the highlighter can we change highlighter color I thought you could but it seems though you can't um, let's have a go orange yeah you can there you go so so that's that if you want to um, save these annotations um, what happens is to end the show you have to right click and end show and it asks you to keep or discard and if we keep you can see that these have all come as graphical objects on the screen um, so they actually saves into your presentation should that be relevant uh, so you might want to save a PowerPoint in progress prior to using it in the next lesson and you pick up with your notes on it, um, as, it um, as it was um, one other quick tip I'm going to show you about using PowerPoint is that whilst you have it up on the board and you're running through your presentation, you might want to quickly blank your screen so that you can draw the student's attention to your voice rather than to the visual display. So you can use either the B or W button. The B button key on your keyboard does this and turns your screen black. Press it again and it comes back and the W turns it white like so. Um, so these are um, pretty good quick little tips. However, um, uh, there's so much to learn about PowerPoint so if it's a piece of software that you would like to use which is um, uh, pretty standard so if you want to take all of your stuff into another school and they might not use Active Inspire so you might want to use PowerPoints rather than flip charts just to make sure that all of your work um, that you your lesson resources are transferable to another um, school or whatever um, you can go and just Google, this is all I've done, is Googled some PowerPoint 2010 tutorials in YouTube um, and here this guy is showing you uh, the secret to great presentations. So you can go and have a look at this um, or copy the URL or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, you can see here it's 2 or 6, 3 or 6, 4 or 6, 5 or 6, so it's showing you different things if you want to learn about transitions and custom animations and whatever it might be. Um, if PowerPoint is your thing, then that might work for you. That's it. 